happiness can be found even in the darkest of times, if one can remember to turn on the light, said Rowling. Change is the law of the universe. Change is constant. Everything else in life is temporary. Life itself is temporary. So this pandemic also is temporary and will soon be gone. So during this phase, let's first start on being positive. Do not listen to fake news. Do not listen to any fear generating talks or news. Do not listen to any negative messages and do not read any negative messages. Start by researching all the efforts that are being made to stop this virus. Look at all the humanitarian efforts being made worldwide to help alleviate some of the pain, some of the suffering that people are facing. Every human being is trying in his own way to pitch in in whatever way he can to help the situation, to save the situation. There are a lot of things that we can do. We, in our all, all of us in our lives at some point have felt and said, I wish I had more time. I wish I had more time to paint, to sing, to dance, to uh, listen to music, to uh, watch movies, to spend more time with our families. So now is the time. Let's start by some introspection first. Let's introspect about our lives. Where are we right now? Where have we reached in our profession, in our personal life? Is there anything lacking? Am I satisfied with where I am and what I'm doing? If not, if I find that there are some things lacking, some things I want to fulfill still, I should identify those and start working on them. There are a lot of things that we can do during this phase. If only we would just structure our day, just remember, consider it a regular day in your life. Make a plan like you always made your plan. There should be a fixed routine that you need to follow. Get up in the morning, get ready like you always did. If you're a student, get down to working on your classes, on your, on your knowledge. If you're a working person, whatever work you need to complete in the morning, you must get down to doing that. Work as if it's your normal day. Finish everything that is on your table. Post that, you should have a fixed routine at what time you're going to do what. We have to structure our day, just like a normal day. If we follow our routine and finish all the tasks that we've set our minds to, we will feel at the end of the day that we have made an achievement. So get up, get ready, stop procrastinating, complete all your tasks, build new skills. So let's start by identifying what all we can do during this time. Introspection is first. Let's spend some time introspecting. All of the things that we feel that we are lacking. Introspection doesn't mean that we start identifying what others are lacking. It's a time to, to delve within, to find out what it is that I'm lacking, what it is that I would like to do more in my life, to add to my life. This is the time. Because you have all the time in the world now. We can spend some time in meditation. Meditation is, again, building our spiritual self. Important to build our spiritual understanding of life, to open the eyes of understanding. Read some scriptures, listen to some talks on God's messages. Build your connection with God at this point. Pray. Read books, all the books that you didn't have time to read. Build your knowledge base. Catch up with the movies that you wanted to see but never got a time to see it. Do it now. Read books, meditate. Physical fitness is very important. A sound mind resides in a sound body. If you have attained all the degrees in the world, but you have a sick body, you can't do much with that. So, build your physical fitness. This is the time. There are so many ways you can do it. Do yoga. You can do spot jogging. You can run around the block in your, in your house. 
other forms of exercise, weightlifting, there, there are multiple things you can do. But spend some time in your physical fitness routine. Because once this pandemic is over, you will be required to start running again. So don't allow your bodies to become flaccid and weak and incapable of standing up to the requirements of the time when this is over. Prepare yourself for that time when this is over. This is not permanent, this is temporary. Remember that this situation is temporary. You need to constantly remind yourself that this is a temporary situation. And it is my prime duty to keep my sanity and to keep the sanity of all the people that I'm living with. Don't make things difficult for them. Keep your emotions and all of your requirements under control. Make sure that you're contributing in every way possible to make this time a good time and a happy time for everyone. Do not become the source of negativity for anyone. Do not spend time blaming people, finding faults with people, finding faults with the government, complaining about this, that and the other. It's a waste of time. All activity which does not generate any positive change is a waste of time. Time is of the essence. And for the first time in our lives, we have ample time. Utilize it wisely for your growth. Medi meditation, physical fitness, read books, listen to music, develop all other things that you can, learn new skills, do some online courses, become a life coach, build yourselves. We have a long life ahead of us. Due to the advancements of the medical science, our life expectancy has increased we are probably going to live for a hundred years once this pandemic is over. If we are going to live for a hundred years, we need to keep our bodies fit and our minds fitter to live up to that time. We should not think that we will become dependent on someone. And the only way that we can avoid that is when we keep ourselves fit mentally, physically, and emotionally. So do all the things necessary right now to keep everything, every aspect of our life in a healthy condition.